At some point in life, anyone thinks about having a pet at home. The desire to have a pet may arise as a psychological need for companionship or care for someone. Most often this is encountered by mature adults and very young children. Especially if a child comes into the family. You should not wait until at some point the child himself wants a pet, you need to take care of your baby yourself, because having a pet is extremely useful for the development of children. Let's look at the main pros and cons of having pets in the house, and the reasons why you should pay special attention to it. Keeping a pet, pros. Pets are a source of affection and warmth. And also a huge amount of positive emotions. If you do not have enough of that in your life, get a pet, which will be a real ray of sunshine in your home and will always help to cope with difficult situations in life. Moreover, pets usually love their owners more than themselves, which means you will drown in the attention of your pet and will always be met with joy and love. A pet can become a real friend to your child, which will not only occupy his time and distract him from the constant stay at the computer or smartphones, but also help to cope with difficulties with his silent support. The child will feel the love of the animal and all bad feelings and emotions will go away by themselves. In addition, if parents often leave the child at home alone for various reasons, pet simply will not let him get bored during the day, which will make it easier to be alone. Pets make children more social, it is easier for them to join a new group, get acquainted with other people, communicate and make friends. And the child with the animal is much easier to make friends, because the other children are interested in approaching, stroke, play with a pet, and this will give impetus to make friends or get acquainted. Get a pet is worth if you want to practice responsibility and discipline in the child, eventually making him understand, a pet, not a toy, it must be taken care of, fed, walked, cared for and watched for his safety. Thus, you will teach your children from childhood to care for creatures weaker than themselves, the ability to plan their actions ahead, control their behavior, love and compassion, and you can even lay the foundation, which in the future will tell you how to take care of your own children. A pet will help your baby learn about the world around them and show them that not all animals are to be feared, because they can be sweet and kind if you treat them well. Most importantly, a pet will make a child's childhood happy and give him lots of happy moments that he will remember for the rest of his life. Keeping a pet, cons. Allergies. Yes, many children can be allergic to animals, both congenital and acquired. It may well appear after a large amount of time of existence of a pet in your home and cause certain difficulties in later life. Moreover, an allergic reaction can even manifest itself to the pet's food. If your child is prone to allergies, you should definitely consult a doctor before purchasing one. Animals really need a lot of care, walk them, clean up after them, feed them, wash them, ensure their own safety in the safety of the furnishings in the house. Not everyone has so much time, energy, and desire. In such situations, it is better to refrain from buying, because pets are the same living beings, to keep them in unsuitable conditions, is unacceptable. Infections are an inherent problem for almost all animals. The risk of catching a disease or virus from a pet is quite high. Take care of the timeliness and regularity of visits to the veterinarian. Follow all expert advice on care, hygiene, and vaccinations. Frequent prophylaxis against worms and other parasites, which not only can transfer to your loved ones, but also harm the pet itself, is necessary. With the arrival of the pet in the apartment there will be a natural smell, which will be felt no matter how you get rid of it. And if the person living in such an apartment, over time, gets used to it and does not notice, the guests will react to it strongly enough. It is necessary to carefully observe the hygiene of the animal itself, as well as the entire apartment, then the smell can be minimized. With insufficient control of contact between the child and the animal from the parents, bites, scratches and other injuries will not be avoided. As long as children are at the stage of development where they cannot control their actions and strength, you need to monitor their behavior with pets very carefully for their own health. Sooner or later, the animal will die, and given the degree of affection children have for their little friends, it can cause great psychological trauma. 
Try to buy a pet with a high longevity that will be around for a long time and grow up with your child. Conclusion Getting a pet is a serious and responsible step. It is not only the expenditure of additional funds for maintenance and care, but also a huge amount of time spent on them. This issue should be approached wisely and do not give free rein only to your desire to bring home a four-legged friend. But if you consider all factors, choose the right animal, suitable for you and your family, do not neglect visits to the vet, give him the attention and care, he will delight both children and parents, bringing into the house even more warmth, love and happy moments. Are you thinking about getting a pet? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a pet, please share this with them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.